blessing. Lord, you give it to us today. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay, okay, okay. Good. Good. Yes. All right. What are the foundations? Number one is what? Sacrifice. Sacrifice. Let's get back to sacrifice. Chapter 6. Holy Spirit baptism. 
and he started once again by sacrifice. He has to sacrifice his ideas, his pride. Am I the one who prayed for you to receive Holy Spirit baptism? You are the one. Yes. I laid up. So he has to sacrifice his pride to receive from somebody like me, a half caste Palestinian. <laughs> Are you understanding what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm not from Palestine. <laughs> but, you see, and Pastor Jimmy is older than me. He's older than I am. And he didn't know us being in a church or whatever. We were just in a little room somewhere with a few people. It's not like anything to stuff. So, he sacrificed his bigness, his pride, whatever. And I laid hands on him. And he received yet again the Holy Spirit and started speaking in tongues. So he was now going further. Okay? Then, so you, you had your experience. You go back to town. Then you want more of God. And you have to come back. You want to be a, 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 a drummer of the church. An usher. <laughs> so he spends another day. And for that, he had to sacrifice. Come early. Open the place. Is that not so? Organize the place, organize the chest at his age or at his level or at his whatever. Do you see? To get in there. When he goes out again, so he won't be a pastor. You know, you have to do exams, you have to do this, you have to do that, this and that. Then he starts again. Each time, you have to humble yourself a little more, pay another price, come in. Then, be a pastor in Basel. Still to get to Basel, he has to stand all over again. Okay, three, three hours. Geneva, Basel, three hours. Sit on the train, three hours going, three hours come plus a little bit in between. So eight and seven hours minimum. For years, going up and down, because there was already a pastor in Geneva. You understand? And you, there, was, well, there was already somebody in Zurich. So if you want to have something to do, and he, well, he didn't want to have something to do. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. So you have to start all over again. You start always sacrifice, wash your hands. The washing is symbolizes the water of the word. You know, because the word of God washes you. That's right. That's right. That's right. Jesus said you are clean through the word that I've spoken to you. So as you go into God, you see that you first pay a price, then you wash yourself with the word, and you come to the holy place where there's the table of <coughs> shoe bread, there's the light, the candlestick, where the holy light, the revelation, you begin to understand more. And the incense, which speaks of worship, and the, the, the things that burn in the worship, in the, in the what do you call it? it uh, some of them are bitter. And you see, all that is part of, something. there's bitterness in part of the experience with God. And then you finally come to the glory. So then, now, he wants to go even deeper. Isn't it? So, God allows him to have disloyal people. Yes. It's an experience to have. Otherwise, all are just theories. All the things I've written and all the things we've read in the Bible, you will not know that it's real. You will think that it's Bishop. You know, Bishop is not patient. No, Bishop is very violent. Bishop, you don't burn. This and that. So God allows you. Because he, in his heart, he wants to know more of God. Isn't it? Yes. God allows you to have some bitter experiences. Which, once again, bring you back to square one. Then you, you have to have, then transfer him back. Because at that time, we have not done transfer. Zurich. So it's like, yes, and then you went to Zurich. Yes, I mean Zurich. I mean, I mean in Zurich. That's what I mean. And then in Zurich, you have to transfer him back to Geneva. See, another time we have not been doing transfer. Now we do transfer. Small, no, we will move you. We will not, we not wait at all. Yes. No, the, the church is not for you. It's not for me, and it's also not for you. Once it's not for me, it's not for you. Because I am the founder of the church, and the church that I did a pastor, I've been transferred from the Kodesh. Now Bishop Saki is there. I've been transferred to the field. I'm now doing evangelism. And you, you want to stay there forever. Hey! hey. hey. Serious. No, no, no. <laughs> so here we are once again. He's back to Geneva. Now 
the idea of Congo has come. You see? And to go to Congo again, he's going to have to now gather himself and say, hey, this sacrifice thing at the very beginning. You understand? It's coming again. That's what the Bible calls offer yourself as a living sacrifice. The sacrifice that never ends, never dies, never finishes. This is how God's work is. You never finish paying the price till you die. And until when you are dead, then that's it. But as long as you live, you find out that you, you keep on wondering that I thought it was over. I thought, I thought, what do you call it? Confusion and pain of prices and all these things was over because I have come. But you see, God, you are on a course. Yesterday I told you about the course and the purposes. Yes. And your course is here to here to here to here to here to here. In the end, you would have done all this journey in God. Sometimes it's even at the same place but in different things. And sometimes it's in different places but you keep going so that when you dying like Paul, you can lie on the bed and say, I've finished my course. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How many want to say that? Or was that I didn't finish my course. You have, you have to say, I have finished my course. Amen. Amen. And then within every purpose, every stop, you fulfill the purposes. Purposes. Especially the higher purposes at that spot. Amen. Amen. Are you listening to me? Yes. 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 So, with me, for instance, there was a time that I, I always, all I do is I visit the church, I visit this church, have three days there, visit this church, do that, and then be always at, the, at my church on Sunday. And now, since I was transferred, I don't have any church on Sunday anymore. Do you understand what I'm saying? I don't have any church. I don't have any church. Like, well, Sometimes, I mean, I, I mean, I have nowhere to go. Hey, hey, hey. Ah, it's true because I'm, 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 I've been transferred from the church. Yeah. <laughs> the field, yeah. And the transfer is making me sit up, you know, to, to think about what more I can do. So, so now I've, I've even, apart from the Healing Jesus Crusade, I've now even created another section of Healing Jesus Crusade for schools. Schools and universities, which I'm just starting. So that I'm always busy at the weekend because since I was traveling, I realized that Sunday morning I don't have to, I have to organize my own, which is what God wants me to do. It's making me sit down. Hey! 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 Oh, you don't understand what I'm saying? Yeah. But you see, each time you come lower, eh? and then you pay a price, and then you come to the presence of God. So never be afraid. Don't run away. Don't run away from pain. Don't run away from something that is hard. Take it up. I have never regretted any aspect of the work of God that I have ever gotten myself into. Playing drums, playing the piano, guitar, singing, whatever. Arranging chairs. Everything has enriched my life. Yes. That's why when I see instrumentalists tying cables, I say, look, this thing we've done them before. You see, you can't bamboozle me with all this. So we have to do this. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to do anything. Amen. 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 Just be humble and flow. Amen. Amen. Alright, so sacrifice is all once again a blessing to come towards the anointing. Amen. Amen. Alright, now the next one, chapter 7. You know, I'm just giving you headlines. Headline news. It's headline news. See it in headline news. <laughs> highlights. What's highlights? Okay. Now, the elimination of Pharaoh, chapter 61. Page 61. Who is Pharaoh? Pharaoh symbolizes Satan. And one of the main things that Satan does is to keep you working a useless job. You see, forever, for him. Now, what do you do? You build the cities of Pharaoh, Pito and Ramses. 
That is what happened. Now, if you think about it, by the time you people leave Switzerland one day, what will you have done in Switzerland? Based on their laws, based on their order, you would have contributed to making Switzerland a greater and a better place. That's right. Amen. Amen. Are you there? Yes. yes. <laughs> Are you there? Yes. You'd have made Switzerland better. Some of you may have bought houses. <coughs> you understand? You have, you have made, by the time you leave, go out of this world, this place will be better, more built up. You see, well maintained through your presence. <laughs> yeah, your taxes. You have work, 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 pay taxes. You add your all your taxes. It's beautiful. And that is what the Israelites were doing. They were in the town making Pharaoh's city better and bigger. And they were building it. Now, you just analyze your life very carefully. And you realize that that is what you are doing. true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Because they made, they made their law such that you bring their money here, you build, develop this place. Yeah. Everywhere belongs to somebody. If, for instance, you want to be Swiss and you are not Swiss, you can come with money. You can come to invest. You can come with 100,000 or some amount, huge amounts. And you come, they will give you the state. Uh, state. Maybe C or whatever. Yes. Indefinite. Yes. Huh? Yes. And you will be here. In England, all the countries have that. Any time, the, the, the main aim is to be, develop and build their cities and their world. You come and go, you will die. 30 years, 20 years, you will not be here again. No Just bring it here and develop it here. Now, God has a higher purpose for your life. Higher yeah. yeah. than developing London, yeah. developing Geneva, developing Zurich, and that is developing his kingdom. Yeah. And so Moses was sent to the people of God, and Moses was sent to tell them, let my people go so that they will go and sacrifice for me yeah. in the wilderness. Oh. Yes. Oh. A different reason apart from just building your cities. Pharaoh. And Pharaoh said, no, I will not let that go. Now, if God wants Pastor Jimmy to be released to go and build his kingdom in Congo, not to go and build Congo, but to go and build a kingdom in Congo, Pharaoh will not be happy. Pharaoh will hardly let you go. Pharaoh will say, what? Why should you go? Stay here and pay a mortgage. Stay here and pay a mortgage. Stay here and pay a mortgage. Stay here and develop this place. And you are forced to stay there and pay, 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 until the doctor says, uh, you have this uh, sickness. These are the number of months that you have left to live. So now I call on your insurance and so on to come and manage the rest and bye bye. And your life has basically been developing one more flat or one more little space in the city of the world, in the cities of the world. Meanwhile, God was calling you to a higher calling to build an eternal kingdom. In Hebrew, they say, for they look for a city which has foundation. A city which has foundation. Something that has foundation. Because this Europe is already doomed. Yeah? When the apocalypse begins, <laughs> You wish you were in Africa. Yeah. Are you there? Yes. So, Pharaoh wants you to work for him. So for me, coming to work for God, what have I done with my life? All my life I've spent, not all my life, but a large part of my life, trying to build the kingdom. Churches, church buildings, the word of God, books, preaching, this is what I'm using my time and my energy and my life to do. Yes. Not to develop any particular place. I'm not saying you, you should not have a house. All those things are, that one is when now you're getting yourself accommodation to do your work for God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
are getting a place to stay so that you can be there to do the work of God. It's just like a church building. A church building is not the work of God. A church building is a meeting place for the work of God. Wow. Wow. Amen. Amen. So brothers and sisters, you have to accept a higher, higher, higher job mm. for your life. Right. All of you here, see the guys we brought up from the, the French, the, the guys from uh, Paris and so on. We're trying to give them some greater yeah. reason right. for this life. If they have to receive it, mm. and if they follow it, look, yeah. at, that, at that age, they start. You see, I started when I was 25 years old, I was a pastor. Wow. When I was 25 years old, I was a pastor. Yeah. And since I've been 25, I've been, been a pastor. When I say pastor, called pastor. <laughs> and I've been doing it all this time. Now, supposing now I've got everything that I want. And I'm now 40 something years old. And I say, now I'm going to work for God. It's different. Yeah. 20 years of my life doing this work from when I was young. Do you see? 20 years, 21 years of my life doing this thing as a pastor. It makes a difference. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. And that's why I see the young people, I say, that's why when I had that meeting, I did an altar for all of the young people. I said, come. I want you to come. When you come for a camp, I want you to come. Because I want the young people. The older ones, we have more problems. Yeah. More problems. Issues, children, reasons why, reasons why not. Amen? Amen. Are you there? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So Pharaoh doesn't want you to go and worship God. Yeah. But I want you to use your life to serve God. True. That's why I appreciate all the people who make moves just because of the kingdom of God. This one moved from England with his wife. Now that's Denzel, your son. I hear you are now a youth pastor. Ah, you see, you don't even know what you are escaping from if you are staying in London with this boy. By now, he may be one of the people we read on Sky, on Sky News of the people yeah. who have been stabbed in London. That's true. Is it not true? He's been stabbed before, isn't it? Mm. And so, you see, it, I cannot imagine the joy. And I remember telling him, go to Germany. But sometimes you don't even know. And you remember? I remember yeah. You remember when I told him? Where was that? Uh, that's why we we're, we're going to Sarifu's church. And I told you what? Yeah. Yeah. The reason why we say go here, go here, we are not sure of what we are doing. You think I would say that in the spirit? I'm not sure what to work. I'm not sure what to work. I try to find the direction of God. I try to find which one is working. And I try to follow open doors. When I arrive at the airport, I arrive at different airport. Where which airport did I just come from? I think Hito, Terminal 5. You know, there's, no, there's no way to know what to do. You just have to follow the place that there's a space. Yeah. When you come out, you just see this place is there. There's no other place. So then you climb. And I was the first person. I was in front of everybody because I had to catch my flight. And so I, I, I was just wondering, am I going the right direction? I kept so when I was looking at everybody's pulling myself. These people are not sure. Because I'm not sure what I'm doing. See, but I just kept going to the place which was in front. And, and where there was a space and which wasn't closed. Yeah. And that's what the Bible says that. Uh, Acknowledge the Lord in all thy ways, and he shall direct thy paths. He won't direct, he won't tell you anything, but the paths are directed. Wow. Yeah. He will not say anything to you personally, but he will direct the path. Close this place, close that place, open here. And so as you keep moving, this is where it's supposed to be. So that's why you must pray about it. Pray about it. Acknowledge the Lord. In all thy ways, acknowledge him. In all thy ways, acknowledge him. And he shall direct your paths. Amen. Amen. Are you listening to me? Amen. So, brothers and sisters, you 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 you'll be surprised at the effects. That's why I'll say that some of the people when they they 
gone on further. What, what happens is that you break away from Satan. Satan is in your life. Do you see? And you actually break away from Satan. So as you move out of London to Germany, you actually broke away from Satan coming to kill your child. I mean, you would be surprised. You would think that, but oh, what's the difference? Why? Yeah. And if you've ever had a child, you know when your child is growing up and you cannot tell which way the child is going hey. to go. Oh. You think because you were holding him in the house, kissing him, coo -coo 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 -coo, when told, it's going to be forever very nice to you and so on. No. no. No, no, no. It doesn't mean that at all. Yeah, that's the same animal child. You see, it's the same an animal. So, what happens is that as the people of God move out, God says, Go to the water. Hey, Lord, when I go to the water, I'll drown. When you go to the water, you drown. So, it's so very risky. Water on the right, water on the left. The thing has gone about it when we are in the middle, it comes down. <laughs> There's a lot of fear in the church. There's a lot of fear in the church. But when you put aside your fears and you walk through like this, there is there are some places, certain devils cannot come with you through certain places. So anytime somebody moves through the river that God has asked you to move through, you always leave behind some devils. Which devils, when you don't walk through the water, will be with you? And so there are certain troubles in your life, they are because you didn't go through the waters. And they are part of you today. Yeah. You didn't go through the waters. And so the devil, as you walk through those waters, certain devils which kill children, which destroy your house, they were drowned in the Pharaoh, Pharaoh's family and Pharaoh's children, Pharaoh's child, all of them drowned in the waters as he passed through the water. Preach. The preaching. Wow. It was a very frightening thing for him to But I have noticed anybody who goes through the waters, that God asks you to go to. You drown the enemies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are so many enemies in Malada that were drowned by. 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 Me going through the waters. Enemies that I can see are still with some of my friends Amen. who wouldn't go through those waters. <coughs> Since I walked through the water and I put aside my stethoscope and I said, damn it, I'll be poor. I said, my, I will never travel again in my life. I knew I will never sit on a plane again. Huh? Yeah, I knew, I knew that I will never sit on a plane again. I, that, that, that I, I knew I will never have a house. I will never tra travel again. I knew that I will be poor. I knew that my children would be poor. I knew, and I walked through. You get it? Everything is the opposite. Yeah. I thought I would never travel again. Now I beg to travel. If any airline, any airline that I take, I, I become the highest, you know they have the uh, whatever. I become the highest. If I take this group, so I'm the highest here and I'm the highest here. Yeah. If I take this, I'm the highest. If I take this, I'm the highest. When I go no, just suddenly, I'm the highest of this group, I'm the highest of this group. Oh, yeah. Every, I have to, I, even, I can't imagine the trips. If I basically what I have to travel, and I'm trying to stop. Trips, go here, go here, go here, go here, go here, go here, go here. Not even, not lighthouse. People are inviting me to come, we pay for you, come, we fly you. We say, they fly me to come and sleep in a five-star hotel, buy me business class ticket. After they give me money to preach once. It's fantastic. <coughs> I would have been with my nurses in the world. <laughs> yes, will you come? Then you see them with their moody faces. <laughs> 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 wow. 
Wow. Wow. So, some of you, there are certain Satans that are going to drown in the waters. Amen. Amen. When you walk through. Amen. When you walk through, there are certain devils. Yeah. Mm. One of the devils that grew in my life was the devils of death. Mm. Yeah. I don't know about God blessed me to dislike deaths. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. He blessed me because one of, I don't know how it formed. These days I look and I realize, you know, I wrote a book, seven things, very important things in my life, things that I knew. And one of these is that I shouldn't owe anybody. And the church too should go. As I walked through, I walked through. I, I said, well, I don't have anything. So I said, okay. So when I look at the television, I said, Michael Jackson, he owes $300 million. This one owes, I said, ah, no, no, I'm not richer than Michael Jackson. I don't owe anybody. Because if I'm not richer than Michael Jackson, I don't owe you owe $300 million. I don't have anything. I don't owe anybody. <laughs> it's in the negative, at least. I'm at least at zero. I'm free. Free. Car free. Yeah. I have my car, I've used it for so many years. It doesn't, do, it doesn't, if it gives me a problem, I'll change it. Right? When I spark it, it's Yeah. And I'm moving free. I got a monthly. Pay this, 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 this. Oh no. Room. Room. Yeah. I've used that same car for seven years. Yeah. And the road that I drive on it was not designed to drive on, but it is working. <laughs> so there are certain things I've left behind. So when I see people, I say, oh, you are so related with the heavy things. Television, you have to pay more to. Sound system, you have to pay more to. Car, you have to pay more to. Even your clothes, you have to pay monthly. Your clothes, you are wearing and pay monthly. Whatever. And God just blessed me to not think in those terms. Clothes, shoes, these are my shoes. This one. It has, this has, this has been to more than you. <laughs> it has traveled and seen more places than you. <laughs> more countries. That's all I have. I don't have, I don't have any other. Any other. This is all I have. Yeah. My trousers is the same one. I, I made it at uh, uh, Opera Square. <laughs> <laughs> you see, it's not all the things that are important to you that you spend a lot of your money. One guy, he caught a signal he was going to die. And he told me, he came, he came to the, my office, he said, look at my trousers. I bought it, and then he mentioned a shop, special shop in London for special trousers. Hey! He said, I have so many in my wardrobe, and I cannot wear because I've lost all the weight, I'm going to die. They are all the new, new ones. I said, hey, my one opera square one is working. <laughs> It's fantastic. Yes. That made me do so many things before. And move into real prosperity. True yeah. But anyway, for me, I would recommend to you, if God says this way, Thank you, Bishop. trust me, following God, apart from everything that it does, it kills Pharaoh and it kills the enemies of your life. Yes. Apart from everything in your life a complex a kill apart from the fact that you work for God you sacrifice you build a tabernacle whatever there is an effect which we often don't say and the effect is to kill certain things in your life they go away they go away and this is one example your Denzel sitting here if not for anything in the world if, if there was no reason for you to go to Germany, okay, only for this is your son. It's okay. That you said. He said he said preacher. Uh, I said, I said, 
Yeah. And you see, you may, you may not go. As I remember when we were having a meeting, deciding whether you know what can we do to save his life. We should take him to Ghana. He said he will not go. There's that different things to save the boy. But just walking through that water have drowned all the pharaohs and all the It's fantastic. That is why when God is sending you somewhere, God is taking you to the next step. Don't start calculating what I will lose. Calculate what you will gain. I need some people for Germany. Swiss and German we combine. Now. Amen. Just go. It's okay. Amen. Amen. Just go. And God's going to bless you. Amen. How many will be glad to see the end of Pharaoh in your life? Bills, issues. You know something? One day I went for a camp in London. And there was a lady sitting there. That's why I was sitting here. She was a lawyer. She was working. And I said to her, I said to her, I've changed your profession. Mm -hmm. hey, hey, hey. From that day, she said, it was like the, the law melted mm. in her life. A lawyer in the UK. She goes to court, a real lawyer. Sometimes when I call her, she's in court. She's talking to a judge. She's calling a judge, this and that, all the time. I look and say, I've changed your profession. And then, finally, the profession went out of her. And she came to say that she wants to, she wants to be free. She wants to go. She wants to serve her. So and I sent her and her husband. First of all, she got married and I came for her wedding. And then I, I said, go, I'm sending you to the desert. So I sent her to Mali and her husband. Now, after some time, they were very happy then. But I myself, I did not understand what I had done. So after some time, I said, come back to Ghana. I want you to work in Ghana. When they came back to Ghana, I realized that I have disappointed them. Because they said they have never been as happy in Mali, in the 45 degrees Celsius desert, as they were there. And I realized that these are true missionaries. They were so happy there that after I'm even spoiling their life by bringing them to the headquarters to come and work. So, this year I called them and I said, You know, I'll, I'm going to send you again. I've seen it in my spirit. I don't know where. So, as the year went by, Congo came up and I sent a text to somebody. I will not mention his name. <laughs> Hear from the brother again. <laughs> As if he's quarreled with me. <laughs> was silence in <laughs> so I called her and her husband. I said, You know, I'm sending you to Congo. Yeah, go to Democratic Republic of Congo. Yeah. Enjoy. Enjoy. London was, UK was nothing. This was nothing. Woman. So many things drowned. You may not know. You may not know. When I look at some of my mates, also doctors, were in the same room with me. Medical doctors. Some, I mean, they work, they earn a lot of money. Many of them cannot afford even to hire somebody to iron their shirts. And me, I have bankers, lawyers. I, I have six lawyers as a, a, a work for me. Six. <coughs> Eleven doctors. You see the secretaries and what no bankers. I just say, do this, do this. They are running around making tea for me. I look at myself, I say, Prince Charles will not even get <laughs> <laughs> Prince, Prince of Wales. 
Sometimes I say, where is Prince of Wales? You should come so that we discuss it. <laughs> <laughs> As you walk through the waters, it drowns the enemy. So give yourself to God. Be wild. Did you hear me? Yes. Give yourself to God. Don't be afraid of dying. The day that you are, when you are afraid of dying, the devil has already got you. Yeah. Already. When you are afraid of dying, the, the serpent has already got you. Not that he is, you have prevented him from getting you. He has already got you in particular. That's what I'm saying. You know, I read it in Rejoiner's book. He said, when you are afraid of deception, you have already been deceived. <laughs> hey! hey. <laughs> it's like you are afraid. He said, if you want to be a prophet and you are afraid of deception, it means you, you are already deceived. <laughs> and I realize it's true. When you are afraid, mm. the devil has already got it. Because the devil, fear is a devil. Yeah. He already has a foothold in your life. Hey. Are you there? Yes. Okay. Next one, chapter 8. Let him deny himself. Huh? Matthew 16, 24. Then said Jesus unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. Pastor Richard, I need eight people from you to come to Germany. Give me eight people now. Start writing their names. Yeah. Are you there? Yes. Yeah. We are not following our own ideas. We are following the law. We are following God. God is with us. God is guiding us by His Spirit. Amen. Amen. Allow God to use you. Break up. Swiss people, I'm waiting to see the first good example. My young children, there, if they go to Paris, I'll be so happy with them. I'll come to Paris only because of you. Wow. Go there, have a choir, make a church, preach, do well. A lot of young people that will listen to you, they will, they will come to your church because of your, your faces, how you are young you look. That's true. Yeah. Speak the language they understand. Minister. Follow all the things we've taught you. Do something. Do something. Don't do it for pay. Don't do it for money. When you have money in your mind, you're, you're already, you have mixed your gods. You put some gods inside and the whole thing is changing. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Let him deny himself. Take up his cross and follow me. The places I used to go. Mm. Jimmy has stopped going to those places, isn't it? Stop going to discos. It's not just because he's over yeah, elderly. You don't go to disco before. Okay, okay. Night clubs. Yeah. Music I used to listen to. You have to sacrifice it for God. Isn't it? Yes. You cannot listen to the worldly music and do well. The worldly music has evil spirits in them. Most of these guys are satanically charged. Yes. When they start playing, they feel your flesh. Demons start to jump. Demons start to jump. Yeah. I tell you, you can't listen to it. Even jazz. You have to listen to Christian jazz. Yes. So it's, uh, you see, the Bible says that Saul, David played the harp and evil spirits went out yeah. of Saul. Hey. So when you play even instrumental yeah. music, it can attract or remove evil spirits. Yeah. Yeah. So if you want to do well spiritually, you have to sacrifice. Them. Me, I really like music. And one of them, I don't like music that is not good. Yeah. I don't like it. It's when I want to hear the music in a way. So it sometimes makes me not play music. Because I, I, I want to hear proper sound system played and then interpreting the music very well. Do you, are you there? I love music. 
And in my days, the people were the stars with Michael Jackson was the, one of the stars, and the Richie, the B, Abba, and those people, those were there. I love music, I love the music of those. I don't know who the people are. <laughs> different that you ask yourself what have you sacrificed? Mm. What have you sacrificed? That's what I said that for me, I don't want to have sacrificed. I think God is rather a privilege. So I don't even want to talk about the sacrifice. It's the honor mm. of serving the Lord. The friends I used to have. Wow. You cannot have certain friends if you want to do well. That's right. If you are in this chair, there are some people that cannot be friends with you. Right. Right. If you are a member of Lighthouse, right. you cannot be friends, be taking phone calls, mm -hmm. yeah. be calling people who yeah. have left the church yeah. saying negative things about the church. Negative things about your pastor, negative things about the church. How come such a person is your friend? Can you be your friend? Say, so, oh yeah, I knew him before I came to the church and I was this and that. No. And when you are being disloyal, it will cost you something. Yeah, right. You are being loyal. That's why the Bible says, Know ye not that friendship with the world is enmity with God. How that friendship can lead to enmity. The friendship of the world is equal to enmity with God. So when we see your friend, it equals to enmity with this other side. That's it. I didn't say it. I didn't say it. Yeah. I'm saying it from the Bible. Yeah. Bible. Help us to take a stand. Friendship with the world is enmity yeah. with God. Oh, oh. And so to be a good Christian, you need to sacrifice certain friends. Sometimes churches, sometimes you have a friend, a friend who has a lot of boyfriends. She just come from a disco. Mm -hmm. She right. sleeps with this person and sleep with and that person is your good friend. I would not advise you to have such a person as a friend. No. Don't have such a friend. You have a brother, you have a friend who is into drugs. Do not have such a person as a friend. He must not be your friend. Advise me not to be my friend. Hey, but uh, I knew it before he was doing drugs. I knew before he was doing drugs. You watch and see. When you go airport and so on. If you watch, you see that there are certain people they stop. Yes. <laughs> certain people they don't. They know the drug dealers who are walking to. They know them already. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they catch them. They see them. They know this person is carrying that. But they are not interested in stopping the person. They want to know who the person's friends are. Yeah. You keep keeping the person as your bosom friend. Before you realize, you are, your picture is at so many police stations. Yeah. <laughs> And you say you don't you got, they are looking for the person's friend. He's associated with this, then he goes to this house, he's in this person. They say, Man, why you you don't do that thing. Yeah. And because of your association, you see that they are thinking you you are angel. But then one day somebody was telling me who oh, I think what person was working on, you a lot about it. He said, No, we know the real the people, how did we allow them to go through? Yeah. They are looking for the team and the boss. They have you when they scan your passport, they have things about you that they know notes. One guy was coming to Switzerland. He was crossing the border in the Alps somewhere high in the mountain. In the snow in the middle of the night. He was surprised at midnight, far away inside the mountains where the snow was falling. They were close to lonely, but there and there, no, they, they, they said, aside. They, they just took him. You, this, 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 that, so many things. Before he was eventually released, he was surprised. So, brothers and sisters, the friends I used to have. I have them. Oh. The music I used to listen to, I listen to it no more. What else don't you do? The places I used to go, 
I know that. The dresses I used to wear. I wear them so much. But it's very expensive. It doesn't matter. You don't want to pay any price at all for God. There's no price at all you want to pay for God. Huh? There's nothing you can pay for God, for God's work. There must be something that you pay. Don't show us your breasts or your bottoms or your panties. Okay? Keep them. Show them at the right place, at the right time, to the right person. What do you think? Don't say it like you. Don't say it no. Brother, don't marry any girl who comes around showing you her breasts. Oh, okay, thank you. Okay. Yeah, I want to advise you. They are very bad girls. Yeah, they are strange women. And one of the signs of a strange woman is her attire. Bible says she has the attire of a harlot. Not that she's a harlot, she has the attire. And there's a certain type of attire. Even when they get sick, they can't stop. They always have that type of dressing. You see them always a cow. Show you a certain kind of breast, you see a certain kind of, I mean, dress, it's all, it's, it's a strange woman. And she cannot even, yes, yeah, certain tightness, certain whatever, they can't. Oh, yes. In fact, if you are a, a brother who is looking for a wife, eh, these are when you see them, don't say, what a beautiful, beautiful. Oh, yes. <laughs> Choices. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
You need to listen. Okay, all of you, did you hear what I'm saying? Yes. Yes. It will change. Whenever I go to a place, I always I can know the people that have been listening. Yeah. Yeah. It's easy to see. Yeah. Yeah. See that that's what brings you closer. Yeah? That's what brings you closer. Oh, because you'll be surprised. That closeness is not by physically being together. Yeah. I am closer to Pastor Richard, who lives far away. I don't talk to him often. I am closer to him, who lives far away, than people who work with me in a crowd. Mm. Mm. It's not by sending a text or by calling. There's, that's what you see. One day I went to a certain town and I, I started to follow them and I told them, I told them and so afterwards they asked, Bishop, how do you know? Said, how did you know? Because I told them things about them were true. So Pastor Gabriel asked, why? How do you know? I said, why know? When I sit with people who are far from me, I just know. That's right. When I meet people who are close to me, I just know. And many times I'll go to London and I find that people in London are listening to their <coughs> messages. And you see, to him who has more shall be given. Mm-hmm. So I feel like going there to give them more. Oh, more, 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 it's already happening here. We want more. We want more. We want more. We want more. Yeah. You are far, but you are near. You are far, but you are sympathetic to the, the, the headquarters that sent you. You need to learn how to be far, but near. It's not about, oh, hello. How are you? The weather here is good. The weather here is bad. It's rain today, tomorrow is going to slow, and everything is okay. That's not what makes you close. That's not what makes you close. It's about, it's about being close. Jesus, Jesus spoke to his disciples. That's what made him close to his disciples. He said, the words that I've shared with you, the Holy Spirit will bring to your remembrance. That's right. So I met a pastor who said, I mean, I don't know how to do internet. I don't know this technology. He said, I don't know this technology. You have to sacrifice and learn the new technology. It's true. If Pastor Jimmy is to go to Congo, he's going to have to sacrifice his job. Maybe his pension. Maybe he's trying to work for a certain number of years so that his pension will be a lot. I know all those things. A certain, a certain number of years, then the pension you get will be quite as hefty, whatever. What about if you die before the, that time? <laughs> yeah. Or you want to have a certain type of pension so that after you finish, the health insurance will still cover you after you have retired. Hey. Hey. Oh. Oh. All these things are there. I say go. All these calculations are there. They, 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 they. What about if this, 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 this? I will be condemned to hospital in Kinshasa. <laughs> Kinshasa hospital compared. Kinshasa hospital with Geneva hospital. Bullet holes in the walls. <laughs> Yeah. And I told you that story about somebody who was having an operation. And then goats came into the tent. In an African hospital, they were, they were doing operation surgery. And then goats came through. But it's not a fairy tale. They came out and said, I cannot believe it. Sacrifice his job. 
sacrificing health insurance. How many years have you worked for uh, these people? Yes, the people. Twelve years. Twelve years. You need to work more, you see, to get your pension. <laughs> You'll be covered. So, you are brought, you'll be subject to so many dangerous things. Africa, medicine, things. The rest, you have to trust. Yeah. It's fantastic. That is why I say to the young people you see, if you take somebody like Pastor Jimmy, he already has 12 years. So, if he can just do another 8 years, can get in 20 years. It's quite substantial. You see, by you, you don't have anything. That's true. Because you are young. So you are just like me when I think. Myself, Bishop said, we have nothing. We will just have potential. Mm -hmm. and, but actually, we have nothing. We have potential. <laughs> but, but nothing. It's easier to sacrifice your potential than to sacrifice something that looks like it's in your hand. So when you are, the younger you are, you get it, the, the better it is for you to start working for God from that point. Because you also grow in it. And as you grow in anything, it becomes better anyway. So these old layers, they are more difficult for them to sacrifice. <laughs> Like even, it would have been easier for him to obey the call of God and go to the mission field here in Kwa years ago. Now it is far more complex. Because when he came, he didn't have any child. He was now coming to get married. Do you get it? He had no whatever. I don't know whether he has a, a mortgage now, whether he's paying for car monthly, different things, complex, work here, work here, now he's building up his life insurance, his whatever, his this and that, all things. So, now. So, you see, that's why, that's why I was, when I see, when, when I asked him, what's his name? I also did Pedro. 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 Yes. He said 25, huh? Did you say? No. 25. Who's Rudy? Quick, quick, you are how old? I'm 26. 26? Yeah. 26. Yeah. 26. Yeah. 26. Yeah. It's a good time. I got married. It's 26 when I got married. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, as soon as you stay a bit longer, yeah. you know, everything starts to change. So you'll be looking at me when I come here. You'll be so happy. So, <laughs> so. <laughs> I'm going to use me as an example. <laughs> hey, love. Are you there? Yes. Yeah. So to leave your job is also part of the sacrifice. Leave your job Live where you live. The country. Sometimes to sacrifice for God, these are the things you are. He says, let him deny himself. So you have to leave sometimes the place that you are used to. Sometimes it's not the nicest place in the world, but that's what you are used to. That's right. That's true. Yeah. Sometimes you see, it's not that God is calling you to a lesser place, but He's calling you to something you are not used to. That's right. Because if you have to go from Switzerland to Germany, you are not changing much. It's the same roads, same hospitals. Same type of system, yeah. everything, but just changing what you are used to. Mm. You see, wow. it's also a sacrifice because we love what we are used to. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. yeah, because some people come to Ghana and say, ah, Can you be here? Are you happy? I go to my house, there's no road to my house. We go like, If you are, if, when you are sitting with me, the kind of good man, you have to hold. Well, your, your, this side of your head is the, the, the glass before you realize your head is outside the room. 
I'm talking about it, just getting nearer to where I'm staying. Yeah. If you don't take Ronaldo. And some say, why are you happy? Say, because I'm so used to it. You see, so sometimes you get used to it. Because I'm not attracted to stay here. Even though if I stay here, the road to my house would be like this. I'm also not used to it. So for me to also leave my house, it should also be a sacrifice because I'll also be leaving what I'm used to. So I don't blame you if you know you find it difficult to move anywhere. Because it's also a sacrifice of what you are used to. You may not even be sacrificing financially, but you, it's what you what you are used to for years. Uh -huh. What do you think? Yeah. That's why you would have thought that it would just be easy to say, oh, bring all those people from London or bring all those people, let them come. No, 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 it's not like that. They also have to pay a price. Or even from Switzerland to there. They also have to pay a price. Yeah. Just across the border, it, 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 there is something that you pay. Mm -hmm. You stop the music. You have to say no to the music. Say no to the friends. Say no to the place. Say no to the job. Language. Say no to the language. Mm -hmm. hey. The culture. Like if you come to Switzerland, God has sent you here. You come to Switzerland. You have to get used to the culture. Yeah. You are in your house. You flush the toilet after ten o'clock. They will call the police. Because it's disturbing. It's disturbing. <laughs> huh? It's a fantastic place. The films you used to watch, you can't watch them no more. How many have watched some sexy films before? You will not raise your hand and join the church. <laughs> Job you used to do when you don't change it, you, 
you, you may become a homosexual. Mm -hmm. I know one guy who became homosexual by going to work at the club. Yeah. <laughs> because after, after doing the work, he was just serving as a waiter. And then in a hotel, and they, 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 the people will give him his card. The card. The card. So I'll call you. Call, call me. And he started like that until he became a homosexual. Oh. A Ghanaian. And, and you see, when he got that job, he could not come to church, he could not do this because he's working at this time, but he should have stopped all those things for the Lord. And it would have saved him, not only that it saved his marriage, save his life. Save so many things. See some of these homosexuality, which is the point that they all wear hats, trumpets. But the thesis drops out. Loose. Loose. So when they sit there, the thesis drops out. So they have to wear a pad to keep it. What is this? It's an unfortunate thing. Do you understand? So all this in God is saving you from. Sometimes a job, just a job that you start. Or somebody can offer you money. Because homosexuals, they offer you a lot of money. Yeah. Wow, so until I give my friends a lot of money, you know. They offer you money so that you become their friend. I want to sleep with you. You be the woman, I be the man. Hey. Or you be the man, I be the woman. Zimbo. Okay, next one. Hey, hey, what time is breakfast, please? <laughs> is it now? What time do they have? Between nine and It's not yet breakfast time. No. no. The special time. Oh, okay. All right. Then you go to that. Turn into your breakfast time. Number nine. Chapter nine. Take your room in the ministry. Amen. Amen. Elisha sacrificed, chapter 9, Elisha sacrificed his oxen, didn't he? he did. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. And what happened? He took his room. The Bible says, in uh, look at page 73, when Elijah went, he threw it, amen, on, he threw the mantle. All right. And he says, and Elijah, son of Shaphat, shall thou anoint to be prophet in thy room. Amen. Amen. How many know that every position in the ministry has a room? Yes. Yeah, there's a room for it. There's a room. There's a room. To occupy a certain room or a certain place, you need to pay a certain price. And Elijah had to sacrifice all his oxen. How many realize that sacrifice is a real foundation for the ministry? Yes. Pastor Jimmy would not have become the general of the CIA if he had not paid the price to go to Basel all those years. If he had said to me, well, I want to be a drummer. I'll be very happy here in Geneva as a drummer. He would not have occupied the room of the general of the CIA to take over from Pastor Robert. When Pastor Robert was leaving, Pastor Jimmy was not known as any whatever. But I said, oh, Jimmy can be the general of the CIA. I said he can be the geo of the whole of Switzerland. So let's make him a, a Jew. Not everybody knew Pastor Robert. Mm -hmm. I said, no, let's make Jimmy the Because by paying the price of going to Basel for seven years, I could see something in this person. Yes. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Yes. So, so now when somebody sacrifices oxen, sacrifices this, does this, does different things, you see that the person now qualifies to take the room. Amen. I sent this gentleman to Paris and now I'm sending him to Johannesburg. Wow. And you see, I see that he can go to Johannesburg in full time because he went to Paris when I told him to go to Paris. If he had not gone, I would not send him to Johannesburg. I'm waiting and watching. Yeah. <laughs> because you can talk, 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 but unless you go, 
We don't know. So when you take a step and you make sacrifice, it qualifies you for certain positions. Yes. And sometimes some people are not qualified for certain positions because they have never taken certain steps before. Very much. That's what I'm trying to help you understand. So sometimes when God is offering you the chance to sacrifice, he's offering you a position. Wow. So when Elijah was called, he was called, sacrifice the oxen, sacrifice them. He killed all of them. All of them. Yeah. And that qualified him to sit in Elijah's chair. So don't back away from sacrifice when God is leading you to sacrifice. Amen. 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 Tell your neighbor, you must take your room in the ministry. Now, when you become a Christian leader, turn to page 82. When you become a Christian leader, Right? You must sacrifice many things. And once again, it is a foundation of the ministry. One of the things you sacrifice is time. Amen. 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 <laughs> what do you think? Yeah. yeah, time. To be at the camp, it sacrifices the time. And when you say time, I don't mean sacrifice of free time. Sacrifice work time. We have different types of time. Free time, air time, work time. I'm talking about time. How many of you sitting here today consider yourself to be idiots? Are you are you here because you are idiots? Uh -huh. So will you be happy when those who are not here think of you as idiots to be here on Monday and Tuesday? Uh -huh. you, you see how some way it is. It's really some way for somebody to be thinking that, you know. I can't be here at such a time. I'm busy. I have to work. I have things to do. It's really some way. Yeah. For me to be standing here, it's like I have the time. But you don't have the time. Because it's like you are you are wise and I am a fool. All the people who are sitting here are fools. Do you think of yourself as a fool? No. Ask your neighbor, do you, you know how you see yourself? Do you see yourself as a fool? <laughs> Is that not how people make us feel? Yes, how people make us feel cool. How many of you that people make us feel that way? Yes. Raise your hand. Yeah, no, it's like, we are not serious. Maybe you don't have a good job. Or maybe you don't have any good job or any days or any that or whatever. You see, that's why you are here. It's like you are aimless and you are whatever. And so that is why. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Following the bishop anyway. No, but you see, we must do better. Switzerland, look at it. I mean, look at the play that. So many people who are here last night are not here. It's like they cannot be here at this. See, that's not what we have in some other places. That's true. Yeah. It's it's, it's unacceptable. You must, you see, to be a Christian leader, you must sacrifice time. That's true. Amen. And when I say time, I don't mean free time. No. When you sacrifice free time, it's not a sacrifice because it was free anyway. Yeah. Do you understand what I say? It was free. You are not going to use it for anything. Saturday morning, you are home, you are just going to be there. Sunday afternoon, you are just going to be there. So if you are there in your church, you are not paying any price of time. Rich. 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 Yeah. So this. You must learn it here to pay the price of time, whoever you are. Real time. Real time. Work time. Sleep time. Time. Are you listening? Yeah. It's very, very important that you grow up into that. And I'm asking you, Switzerland, pastors, those of you who are here, you know, after this camp, I'm expecting you. To so sit down and evaluate yourselves, you know, and change all those things. Thank you. Yeah, we shouldn't yeah. hear, we should hear yeah. such a thing again. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
And it's like you, they are wise and they are bad principles. They know the time they will take their holidays and they'll take their time off. And they don't want the days that they'll, they'll take off. But we, we are the fool. That's why we are here. That's the message that is sent. That's the message. And I doubt that message and I curse it. I reject it. Absolutely. Rubbish. You what? You keep following money. The money will evaporate in your eyes. You will see. You will be here in Switzerland for years. When you leave this place, you will be poorer than when you came. You will be surprised. You watch and see. The money that you have worshipped and the money that you have honored above God, it will tell evaporate before your very eyes. You will see. You, you wait and see. You wish you, you will catch this place. You say, I wish I never came here. Hey! Look, when asked Solomon, when he saw his father sleeping with Bathsheba and he tried to live a life to avoid certain things, by the time he finished, he decided that when I see a woman, I will marry her immediately so that I avoid the problems that maybe had with uh, Bathsheba of going to sleep with somebody's wife. So any woman that he saw, he married until he had married 1,000. <laughs> the same woman caused him to fall. You may never know how a particular problem will come to you. That's true. So you wait and see. You think you are preserving your life. That you are wise. We are fools. We are fools. That's why we are here. How many, if you agree with me and you think that those who are not here are telling those of us who are here that number one, we don't have good jobs. Number two, we, maybe we don't have a job at all. Number three, we don't have much to do. Number four, they are wise. Number five, they know the days that they are going to take off as holiday and they don't want to compromise. How many agree that that message, if you think so, stand up. If you think that that's the message they are sending to you, not to me, but to you, to you who have come. You who are here, this is the message. They are not organized and racist. That's the meaning. That's the meaning. You see, everything you do has an unspoken message. Yeah. Whether you like it or not, it's a message. It's a message. It's not said with words, but it's a message. Spoken without words. Look, everybody who comes after this morning, when the person comes, arrest the person and say, You, I hear this what you said about me. I hear you say, I don't have a job. I'm not wise. I'm taking days off. I don't know what I'm doing. Is that what you said? And we are the best. Is that what you said? You will I will let you arrest all of them together. And when they are all sitting down quietly, yeah, we bring them to the front. Yeah. And then we ask them questions. We told them what they like, said to us this morning. Yes. It's like we, we are fools. They are, they are wise. They, they, they are going to secure whatever. You see, and I'm just saying that as for God, eh, when you lift him up. Oh. And you make him great oh. before you. you said, because you have loved me, yeah. you have set, you have set me on high, you have uh -huh. honored me. I will honor you, I will set you on high. Amen. With long life, I will satisfy you. God, he, God he sees when you give him respect. Amen. Did you hear me? Yes. I said, God sees when you give him respect. Amen. And you praise him very high. He sees when you give him respect. Value it always comes to you. Right. Always. I, I go to place where I sense a value. I sense that I'm loved. Yeah. 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 I sense that I'm loved and valued. One day, I went to preach somewhere. I preached with all my heart. I preached with all my heart. I preached with all my heart. And when I finished, it's okay, it's okay. When I finished, they gave me a little envelope and I was in my car. But when I got in my car, I said to myself, I won't come to this church again. Yeah. Because I felt that they did not value me. They did not value all that I and, and it has been true because they've never invited me again. But they didn't really value. Me. And not only did they not invite me again, but they became they become some weight. So, but when I sat in there, I said, Oh, this guy, this guy is I won't come here again. 
sat in the car and I was blessed no. And you feel it. Because I remember I did pray, did everything I with all my heart. And you just sense and feel these people don't really value what you are doing. That's why whenever I have a visiting preacher, I always want to find the person. Because the person can sense your ministry is really like it's not even by the money. Sometimes the money shows that you don't value the person. But sometimes it's not even the money. You may give the person a lot of money, but you, 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 you don't like the person. You don't really value what you feel that you're just finding time for the program to be over. Yeah. And when you start traveling, you always see the different fields. Huh? Remember this who said it? What did he say? He said it. When he came to Zurich, and then we, we saw him off at the airport, he said to us that Lighthouse, we value him so much. Any time Bishop tells him to come, he will come back. Powerful. You don't value the person. Like he can, you see, it's spiritual, you feel it. You feel it. Now, if I'm here, it's like everybody has been able to leave their job and they are all here. How, don't you think I have that feeling of how valuable and how important it is? How the people see. And I feel, I feel bad not to come. Do you see? Yeah. Yeah. Well, so we have, to, we have to kill this kind of thing. I'm saying the things clearly. I'm just telling you, see, what, what you don't know is that sometimes somebody is on one side, he's explaining what it's like. Even mm -hmm. you have told you how the people are talking about you yeah. in their heads. You, you are surprised, isn't it? You are surprised that it was not only a message about me, but it's a message about your foolishness. And you are fools to come and sit here at this time. <laughs> you are surprised that it was also an insult to you. It's true. It's a message. It's a message. But, right. Are you there? Yes. So please, kill it so that God's servants are welcome here. And, and when we talk about God's servants, we're talking about camps. Mm. We're talking about time, quality time. Mm. If you think in the ministry, I, at first I used to think ministry was only Sundays. Mm -hmm. But as I grew, I realized, I remember Archbishop Idabosa, two weeks before he died, he came to Ghana and he prayed for uh, some people. You know, but the, you know what day he came? Monday morning. Wow. Monday morning. Yeah, Monday morning. He came to a church, a lady who had been his secretary before in Nigeria. She, he came to her church, and I went there Monday morning, and he dedicated the church. The whole church was full. Crowds outside, Monday, first thing in the morning. He got a great man of God. He works on Mondays, Tuesdays. When as I'm going from here, I've, I've been at the program since Thursday. I've been in South Africa, Friday. And I flew here. Straight, I'm coming to a program, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And from here straight, I'm going to Scotland to a church that has invited me. And from there, I'm going back to South Africa. Mm. Yeah, that's my that's my program. It's not, it's not like I'm going for a holiday here. From, so when I finish here, I'm going to rest, and then after that, I'm, there's nothing like that. I'm just going one to another like that. I think I'm to use weekends. Huh? Yeah, what is the price? June, June 12. <laughs> June 12. <laughs> And when I finish South Africa, I come back to Ghana. When I arrive in Ghana, I'm going to Salaga. Salaga. I'll be there for seven days in the north of Ghana for a crusade. And when I finish, I come and go to Nigeria and from Nigeria to Paris. To a church in Paris. I mean, it's all. If you think I'm going to get a very nice weekend to come here, when is that weekend? That's true. I came and added this because I was coming from South Africa and I can join it to this. Oh, thank you. For sure. So, so I was this weekend. I'm explaining something that if you don't grow up, you understand, in your mentality, and sit up and value that God has been has blessed us. Yeah. Because at the beginning of the day, I wrote all these places I want to have come. I've been able to have only one. This is the second time I've been able to have it. Uh, squeeze it in. 
And then you come and see so many of the pastors, they are not here. Mm. And when we rebuke you, cry, you are annoyed. Mm. We are not annoyed. There are some way. Rebuke. 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 When we say Christ, like I'm talking too much. I, I, I don't understand what is being said. It's wrong. It is wrong. It is wrong. And not only am I just talking about it, but we are going to act on it. Yes. I tell you. Yes. Yes. We are sacking pastors who do not comply, who do not come for camps. You cannot be a pastor in Switzerland again. That's right. I, I prefer these young guys, Rudy and come, all of you come, be my pastors. Come. <laughs> come here. Come. Mary's children. All of you come. You'll be pastors in the churches. Yeah. yeah. Stand here. You think that the grown ups cannot be? All of you will be pastors. Then why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Father, thank you for releasing the young people to come and do the church work in the name of Jesus. Bishop Saki, I do not think that I can accept to be here on Tuesday morning eh, at 9 o'clock and a percentage of the pastors in Switzerland are not here. I cannot accept it. And after this, I'm going to have a meeting about this. Yeah. I prefer to have these children as pastors. I will not accept them as pastors. I'm serious. Yeah. I cannot accept it. Because you people should know how many want somebody to insult you. To tell you that you are, you are silly. That's why you can are daft. You think these people are whatever. That's why Jesus said the kingdom of God belongs to the children. Yes. Hmm. I cannot accept it. I cannot accept it. I cannot accept it. As I preach, the longer I speak this morning, the more silly I feel. The more silly. It's like you are a fool to come and stand here and be shouting and, and screaming and preaching. But most of the people are not here. Yeah. So as I look at that, I feel happy to myself. I'm, I'm leaving tomorrow. Tomorrow, no, I'm out of here. You see, that's the feeling that your father should not have that feeling. I should rather have the feeling that, oh, I'll finish, I'll stay a day, an extra day, whatever. But it's like the people that are, it's like you are important to them. So the faster in and fast out, in and out, as fast as possible. Oh. And that is what brings about a distortion and a severe reduction in your spiritual and mental capacities because you are totally cut off from things that will have brought light to your life. You are cut off. Okay, sit down. Thank you. God bless you. Now, John. Chapter 87, verse 87. Therefore, that's 
my father loved me, John 10, 17. Because I lay down my life that I may take it again. No man take it from me, but I lay it down on myself. Now, God wants us to lay down things of ourselves. Yeah. You need to come for camps and such programs, you get it, yes. of your own accord, not that you are forced to come. Yeah. Or pay tithes, not that you are forced to pay tithes. Yeah. That's what Jesus said. No one is taking it from me. I am giving it myself. Yeah. I am giving it myself. Yeah. And we need to have programs where it's not somebody for calling you. Are you coming or not coming? But you yourself are laying it down yourself. That's what Jesus is explaining. He said, no one is taking my life. I am laying it down. Because if you read the secular history, some people claim that they murdered Jesus. <coughs> but you see, he did not murder him. He gave his life. That's the difference. That's the difference between something that, if I come to you and I say, give me 100 francs, and you of your own accord give me 100 francs. They are two different things. Yeah. Yeah. And I prophesy to you, mm -hmm. if you don't give it, you lose it. Mm -hmm. It's not that I've seen you that say that's the name of the chapter. Give it or lose it. <laughs> Many of the things that you don't want to give, you will lose them anyway. Mm -hmm. Jesus, probably, if he had not given up his life, would have died anyway. Mm -hmm. Because to have somebody who claims to be God moving around in town, very dangerous in the Jewish mm -hmm. Jews and Muslims, they don't like those things. There's only one God. Mm -hmm. Jews and Muslims. That's why Muslims are almost like an agency of, not of Christianity, but they, of, of the one God. They cannot, they do not accept, where there is Muslim, they do not accept idols. Muslims do not accept other gods. There is only one God as far as, and his name is Allah. Yeah. And Christianity and Jew, you should, there is only one God. There is nothing like two gods or three gods. The very dangerous thing to say you are the son of God, very dangerous. <laughs> in, in Jewish land or in an Islamic land. You get it. Yeah. So many things that you think you are not going to lose, in the end you will lose it anyway. So it's better that you give it. One day somebody was owing some money and I said, just dash the people so that it comes a seat. Because they won't pay anyway. <laughs> they will not pay you back. So just decide I'm going to swear. I bless you. <laughs> so that you get some blessing. And then they will not pay to you. That one is a loss. <laughs> Chapter 12. Sacrifice brings the glory. Amen. 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 Bible says in 2 Kings, Solomon sacrificed so many animals. Isn't it? Can you see the best there? Huh? A long verse there, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 1 to 40. But at the end of the, the verse there, somewhere at the very end, it says that then the house was filled with a cloud, even the house of the Lord so that the priest could not stand to minister by reason of the cloud. For the glory of the Lord had filled the house of God. Amen. 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 Are you listening? Yes. yes. The glory of the Lord. And why did the glory of the Lord fill that? Because Solomon sacrificed thousands of goats. That's right. So the more sacrifice there is, the more glory is released into the church of God. And that's why there has been a certain beauty in Lighthouse Chapel in Switzerland. Because a lot of lay persons have sacrificed a lot of things for the churches to exist. That's right. So when you are now coming to take away the sacrifice, take away the daily sacrifice, stop the sacrifice, you are actually taking away the beauty and the glory of the church. Wow. That's what you are taking away. You are taking away the beauty. Glory means beauty if you don't know. Stand up, you stand up. What's your name? Jean. So if she's Beautiful. That's her glory. The glory of Jean is the beauty of Jean. So if I'm taking away the, the glory from her, I'm taking away what makes her nice. I'm taking away what makes her beautiful. That I, 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 I said, you brother asked you to marry. Yeah, yeah, Who is that? Yeah. 
Your name is what? John. John and John. 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 John the Baptist. So if I take away her, it's like that's what they say that the woman's hair is her beauty. If you take away her hair, now make her totally wrong. You see that I've taken away something that makes her beautiful. And that's, that's, that's what sacrifice is. Sacrifice is like our hair and our earrings and our. The beauty of the church is the sacrifice of the church. So when Solomon sacrificed, there was so much glory that the people couldn't even stand. That's, that's, that's it. Wow. That's it. So much beauty and glory. So much sacrifice. So when you come to the foundation of the glory, and you come and say, this, 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 percentage, don't come, don't come to come, don't come on Monday, don't come on Tuesday, explain why you're not here, give reasons, all that you are taking away. Taking away the very beauty of the church. One day, I watched a film called Unforgiving. Unforgiving. In that film, there was a, a lady who was a prostitute and she was with other lady prostitutes. They were working at a place. And when she was sleeping with one of the customers, she made a comment about the man. She, she said something about the man and, and laughed at the man. And the man grew wild in the room. I'm sure it's based on a true story. And he took a knife and started attacking. He was, he was even undressed. He started attacking the lady. And he took a knife. And he cut, cut. He chopped, and he cut her face like that. He cut her face like that. And some people even came and shot. And they took, they, they arrested the guy. Now, the whole film is based on only that thing. When they took the girl, the other prostitutes, and they sat by her. Her whole face was covered with blood. They cleaned her face. Mm. And they were talking. Then they were, they were ready to see what was going to happen. So then they caught the two guys. They were two, two, two guys. And they tied them. And then the, the, the ladies came, the chief of the prostitutes, the girls, she came to see what they were coming to do to the guy. So they took the guy and they said they were going to whip him. And the lady shouted, whip him? You are only going to whip this guy. For what he has done, he has cut my face now. I cannot work again. I mean, she was not the one. She was upstairs in the being treated by the mother of the prostitute. She said, I'm only going to pay him. Then the owner of the prostitute, so I think the main the manager of the place said that, I brought this girl as a contract. I paid so much money for her to be here. You have cut her face. Now she cannot work. Nobody would like to sleep with her. You have taken away her glory, her beauty. Only whipping, then they have the shop and it's okay. You must pay three horses. Pay three. In those days, cowboys and Indians said, give three horses. Three horses? That's what the woman said. And she went upstairs. They sat with the other ladies. And they said, this is what these guys are doing. They are taking away our sister's beauty, her glory, her ability to work, everything. They're taking it away. And they put together, say, how much do you have? I have 200. I have hundreds, I have hundreds, and they put together a thousand dollars in those days. And they went to hire an assassin, Clint Eastwood. He was the assassin. They went wow. to hire an assassin. <laughs> By the time the film finishes, the number of people that were killed because of that glory. The, the first two minutes of the film is when they cut of the glory of God. <laughs> And the kind of wicked, that's why they call the film Unforgiving. Wow. Yeah, Unforgiving. Wow. Hey. Hey. Because they cut the woman's beauty by the time they go to the number of people that die because of that thing. And that's what is happening here. Somebody wants to come and cut off what makes this place nice. Okay. Okay. What gives Lighthouse Chapel its beauty and its glory? 
Pastor Richard had a daughter you can make a convention in Leeds. He was not even there himself. He's not even there. More than 1,000 women. All these people come from deep, so many lighthouses, everybody wearing yellow and black. What a beautiful thing. Where do you think all these people are from? Do you think there are 100 pastors that are being paid anything? It's all lay but that's the beauty of our church. Women are pastors, men are pastors, students are pastors. Give everybody a chance. And nobody's there. You just work for the Lord. This is what you want to take away. You want your knife to come and cut, 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 cut. Can you imagine John is standing here and I take out my Swiss knife and I cut, 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 cut. <laughs> How many will agree that we shall not forgive anybody who is trying to take away our beauty? Oh. Hey, shh. We shall not forgive you. We shall hire an assassin. A spiritual assassin. For I am for assassin. It's a foundation. It's a major foundation of all. And you see, this lady, she depended on her beauty. And they said, they said nobody liked a, like a, a, an ugly look. And after, when, when the two women, her face was healed, you see the line. Line, 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 line on her face. Nobody, nobody wanted, just, she just stays alone. When people come, you have to choose all the, of the, of the girls. They don't choose her. God, the beauty is gone. The glory is gone. So sacrifice is the thing that leads to the glory. When you take it away, you are taking away our very niceness and very actual duty, the source of our duty. We can't even sacrifice Tuesday morning to be here. And even when you can't cry, we will feel so much how you are tired and how the pressure you have been under to be here. We even feel it by your even presence. We feel how much we have bothered you. And as we are here without you, we feel how foolish we are. So we won't have sex. That's why we have come. We are, we are the fools in the church. Eh? When you come to you feel the, the pressure. It's like a, a busy and tired person who has come to, 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 to meet with fools who don't have anything to do. It's like when they come in, it's only the one they hear they think that's important. So what we are saying in the morning is rubbish. Yeah. Yeah. That's a message. It's changed. It's changed. So my friends, you know, I am assigning you. Huh? Mm -hmm. Which if you are now, if you see your pastor, you, you sacrifice. Yeah. If you don't sacrifice, you can't be my yes. pastor. Yes. You yes. can't be my pastor again. Yeah. I, don't, I don't like to have such a pastor. There's no glory. I'm not saying you pay tithes. As a pastor, you pay tithes before you are preaching to us. If you don't pay tithes, don't preach to us. You don't like such things. Bishop came and told us. Yeah. Chop it! Chop it! Why they are not here. 
I should look at all your, your rubbish. It's over. I don't accept it. It's over. I don't accept it. I don't accept that Pastor Fred is not here. I don't accept it. I don't accept it. Yes, we should. You are here as his members. We watch. What what will happen now? Watch it. Watch it. We are fools, you see. We are that's why we are here. We are idiots. We are idiots. Preach, Bishop, preach. Yeah. Well, now you can't say what you see, you say idiot. But it's, 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 it's in your mind. Idiot. You see, one day, a certain policeman. We went to uh, some, some, some uh, couple was quarreling in their house in London, a Nigerian couple, very big lady. Mm -hmm. So they called this guy, and then they called this other policeman. So they went to the house. When he got there, the, the white policeman was asking, "What is happening? Why this and that?" And the Nigerian. Oh man, <laughs> she told her police, but idiots. <laughs> Every sentence she said, idiots. Are you married? She asked, are you married? She asked the police, but are you married? Idiot. Why? Do you know, do you know, do you know my age? How old are you? Idiot. <laughs> But 
I tell you, you are going to be blessed in heaven. Amen. You are also going to be blessed on earth. Amen. And one day, people are going to be jealous of you. Because of how God has blessed you. And they will even accuse you of being a thief. Because of the blessings will be so much. Through the door, they will be coming through the door. They will be coming through the window. They will come from upstairs. They will come from underground. They will be creeping all over you. The blessings of the Lord. Blessings in heaven and blessings on earth. God will multiply everything that you have in your hand. Instead of decreasing, it shall increase. In the name of Jesus, in the name of He who sent His Son to come to this world to die on the cross. In his name. Father, let this blessing be upon you. Amen. With great strength, let them march forward with the principles of sacrifice. Amen. And give up everything for you. May Pharaoh die in the waters. Amen. May the agents of Pharaoh die in the river, in the sea. May they die and may they be seen no more. Amen. As we serve you and as we follow you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Everybody said, Amen. Amen.